uh, what's the secret behind these insane AI generations? It's something called JSON prompting. I know it sounds technical, but it's actually very simple. Unlike normal prompts, JSON prompting is like giving the AI a blueprint with precise instructions. That's why Google BO3 outputs feel so polished and cinematic. So let me show you exactly how to write one from scratch and how you can generate a video from it for free, super quick and easy. All right, first things first, open up chat TPT. If you try to create a JSON prompt in this normal chat, it's actually pretty tricky. It won't give you the proper format every time. So what we need is a model that's already trained to build these JSON prompts perfectly, just from simple text you give. To find that, look on the left sidebar, you'll see an option called GPTs. Click on that. Now in the search bar, just type JSON, and you'll find a bunch of AI models that are made specifically for generating JSON prompts. Look for the ones with high ratings. Those usually give the best results. Once you pick one, you're all set to create your own JSON prompts easily. Now once you're inside that JSON GPT, you'll see an option called develop my prompt with an idea. Now go ahead and click that. Here's where you just describe the scene you want. For example, I'm going to type, give me a JSON prompt for Samsung launching its first AirPods ad. You can also add more details if you want the results to be super accurate. The more specific you are, the better the output. After you type it out and hit enter, it'll give you a detailed JSON prompt ready to use for your video. Just copy that entire JSON block. Now head over to Google VO3's Flow AI page. Make sure you've selected text to video and also select the VO3 fast model with audio. And keep the number of videos to one because credits are limited and you don't want to waste them. Now, just paste the JSON prompt in the box, hit enter, and that's it. Your video will be ready in a few minutes. Wow, look at that. The output's actually really cool. The way the Samsung logo melts and transforms is so clean. The animation looks professional. All right, now let's try another idea. <clears throat> I'm going to type, generate a JSON prompt for a cardboard box bursting and transforming into a room. Again, you can describe it in more detail if you want, like mention the bed, the shelves, lights, whatever. The more details you give, the more accurate the scene will be. Once you're done typing, just hit generate and you'll get the full JSON prompt. Now I'll just copy that, head back to flow, paste it in, and let's see how this one turns out. Wow, <laughs> this one's actually even cooler than the last one. The way the box bursts and sets up the whole room is so clean. But yeah, if you give an even more detailed prompt, like mentioning exact items or how you want them to appear, you'll get results that are even more accurate and cinematic. All right, I also tried one more. I generated a video where a Lamborghini logo keychain transforms into a real Lamborghini car. Let's check out how that one turned out. Wow, this one's definitely the best out of all. The transformation looks so smooth and realistic. It's insane. I wanna know what you think about it. Drop your opinion in the comments below. All right, before you go, let me quickly share some mistakes I made while generating these videos so you don't end up wasting your time or credits like I did. First, always use a trained model to generate the JSON prompt, like the one I showed you. If you try to do it in the normal chat, it'll mess up the format. Second, always generate one video at a time. Don't try to make multiple versions in one go. You'll just waste credits on outputs you don't even need. And third, don't expect perfect results on the first try. You'll probably need to tweak the prompt a little. So if you see something wrong in the video, just go back to ChatGPT, describe what's wrong and ask it to fix the errors and give you an updated prompt. That way you'll get better and better results without wasting extra credits. So that's it for today. I've attached all the JSON prompts I used in this video. 
You can grab them for free from my WhatsApp channel. Links down in the description. Go try it out, play around with your own ideas, and see what crazy videos you can create. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.